Hello and welcome back to Deponia. Today we're coming back. Um, it's been a little while since I recorded, but here we are, and we're gonna try trying a new. We're all have items. We don't have anything. But we're gonna try a new um, recording for my hair. I'm just gonna record for 15 minutes this time. This time I'll get a more worthy vehicle for us. One from which you don't <coughs> always tumble off. And um. Yeah, but we're gonna. I'm gonna do a 15 minute recording. Um. Oh. Okay. Great. That sucks. <laughs> oh. oh, that was quite a drop. Oh, oh, but Luckily, I'm back up. I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Ah, oh, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. Doesn't yeah, you just fell. Though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And gold. Oh, what am I going to do with gold now? Damn. Okay. Yeah, but, um... <clears throat> so... Lately, I've just been, you know... Doing stuff. Looking for a job all summer. That thing loads junk into the mine lorry when it's here. Cool. Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of the canyon, and this is a rusty old crane for loading rail cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. Okay, so we're gonna use the crane to grab a goal and put her in a rail car. First, we have to get a rail car, though. Um, no matter what awaits me, but um, now we're at the crane. You're not supposed to put things on the rear shelf if you're planning to break. Come on now. <coughs> ah, nothing. Damn. Um. Yeah. But no matter what. A I'm be going back to college soon. I'll this is recording. beyond repair. Let's throw it out. But well, I think that. But yeah. <clears throat> um. But, but, uh, what was I trying to say? Tetanus-inducing rust and unsecured power cables as far as the eye can see. Oh, <laughs> time I got out of here. Yeah. I guess we're gonna go to the tunnel. <clears throat> um, yeah. Let's so just go play some Deponia today and get stuck in. Okay, so we're in a mine now. Um, what can we interact with? There's a mine bike. Huh. Nothing. I have to stop expecting quality craftsmanship everywhere. Yeah, that probably helps. Oh yeah, exactly the right carriage for my princess. I'll sit here. Huh. Where will she sit? Check. That's a good question. Um, can we get up to this button? Maybe we can go to the turn. I guess we can go to the viaduct. Oh, oh this junky parachute. Let's check the jump heap first. If I had planned to be a trash hunter, I would have stayed in Kuvak. In any case, I'm not going to rummage through there without good reason. The good reason to rummage through there is there might be something that could help you, Rufus. Oh my god. Whoa, who's that? You idiot. Mm. <coughs> Rusty drain pipe, chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. Who's this idiot? <laughs> There's a skeleton and a key up there. Maintenance hatch. Let's check that first. The box is screwed shut. Screwed as if shut. a hex bolt could stop me. What naive dunces. Okay, so a hex bolt is what's there. A mirror. Signaling light base. Red signaling light. <clears throat> okay, so we got another thing there. We got some booze and a dock here. Let's talk to the dock. Hey, dock, how you doing? Hi there. Huh? What? Oh, hello. Hello. Who, Who are, are you? you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? I do. 
No, my name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across <laughs> as enigmatic and threatening, but... <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed and all. How does he know huh? who I am? I'm it's just Doc, Handyman, Flash Hunter, Spare Parts Dealer, Brain Surgeon. I own a brain small surgeon. store on the floating black market. I would you not might trust know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head, proper head, all the same to me. Is it Doc? Da -da 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 -da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm a handyman, handyman myself. myself. Ah, I am. A colleague. <laughs> Very good. What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, look at you. Daring to try the impossible. I like that. There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand. This is exactly. True. One who'd rather risk a <laughs> bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. exactly. I like you, Rufus. <laughs> Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty it's cool true. guy. Sunglasses, molten wax. Spare parts and brain surgery? Brain what a surgery. strange combination. That you is. think so? I always thought that both professions are more or less uh, in the same vein. They're not. Oh, though. I see. They're really like not. genius and madness. I'll take that as a compliment. But you're damn right. What are you so doing here? what are here? you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Sitting and drinking. You look like a wombat ruffling through the trash hunting for food. I'm looking for spare parts. I knew that. Well, found anything yet? If you know what you want, you'll always reach your goal. Hey, that's my family's motto. Oh, no, wait. My family's motto was, it's enough to know how to light a fire. There will be others around who know how to operate an extinguisher. <laughs> Is it far to the lower ascension station? No, no, not at all. Great. It's right behind this mountain of trash. Grandissimo. Right behind the unbeatable mine maze. Oh. Wow. Terrific. Great. <laughs> Is it still far to uh... Let's do a thought experiment in case a fellow handyman would face a problem. Really, just hypothetical. Handymen don't know any problems, only challenges. Oh, my thoughts exactly. But okay. handymen help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman's code. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife, lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. Sure. All right, I shoot. I think that was What's a sexual trouble? innuendo. <laughs> um. When the mine bike, doesn't, the start. Mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. <laughs> it would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, the uh, parallel shank. <laughs> you know, that always happens to me, too. You better be happy okay. that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? No, of course not. I just wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two <laughs> different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shot. And what a stroke of luck. I've just found one. Here you go. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Grace, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> Seemingly. Uh, What's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it too? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nonsense. Fitting an avial power thingy. I, I can do that in my sleep. Well, I did that once. The next morning my wife left me. Oh, Since no. then, I've given up sleeping on waterbeds. Is there anything else? Um, My girlfriend is too heavy. Is that so? Well... I've just a piece of advice you need. <laughs> really? Yes. Keep your hands off women like that. All what? you'll accomplish is a strained pelvis. Ah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Is that's, there anything else? That's terrible. Um. My girlfriend my has a brain, brain implant. 
You've come to the right place, then. It has to be destiny that our paths cross. Um, Does that mean you can fix it? Of course I can. I don't Perfect. really know if I'm but not comfortable here, I'm letting him work well, on goals. Just bring her to my head. practice on the floating kind of black market tomorrow. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, it's kind of that's too dangerous, late. I think. No, no. You can walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Oh, my two goodness. Two years? Yes. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? <laughs> Nothing, Nothing that I can't, I can't handle, handle myself. Very yeah. well. You want a job done well? You do it yourself. That's DIY good plan. DIY for the win. DIY for the win. I agree. Um. Uh, you seem you to know your, way, to know your way around women. Ha! I don't. You've said it. I don't think he Why does do actually, but I'm asking. Do you think someone like me could get involved? Do you with think someone like Elysium? me could get involved with a woman from Elysium? Oh. Rufus, like I always say, it's the same with women like it is with building a power inverter. You can attach a screw bushing to a spherical body, but never a clamp bushing to a cubicle one. Uh-huh. Okay. A friend of mine knows uh, this woman. A friend of mine knows this woman. He thinks that she's really got something. But? But, well, she's kind of... Engaged. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that my is a problem. Rufus. You sure know some weird people. Well, the situation isn't any more complicated than the assembly of a power inverter. Oh my as god. As long as the mold muff has to Why is it always coming to the back to the power body, inverters? There will never be an avial power inverter with a mold muff. Makes sense, eh? No. Uh can a misunderstood but extremely laid back guy from the wrong side of the tracks? Compete um. against the rich Elizabeth. Oh dear. Love may give a dorsal power inverter still has more spots on the bevel inverters. than a patch. I don't care about the power inverters. All right. I'll ask. What can I do? Well, but if you ask me, four Again. two spots. It's that easy. Again, power converters. <laughs> ah, for I see. Well. Okay. Is, Is that, that booze? booze? Give a me the handyman's booze. best friend. Yes. Steadies your hands and frees your mind. Lowers the inhibitions to get your hands close to rotating blades. And is as good a disinfectant as it is a painkiller. Go on, have some. There's enough for the both of us. I have to get moving. Be safe and visit me on the floating. Okay, give me the booze. Thanks, buddy. I was talking about one sip. Not the whole bottle. <laughs> Did I tell you that I have herpes? What the? So what's the big idea drinking from my bottle? I'm a doctor. Amongst <laughs> other things, I can't afford any disfiguring infectious diseases. <laughs> Who'd be willing to undergo brain surgery if I had one? Yeah, who would? Wipe the bottleneck clean at once and thoroughly. Okie dokie. <laughs> Wipe the bottle. Okie dokie. <laughs> He wants me to wipe it clean? Um... I don't really have anything to wipe it boy, clean. Boy, oh boy, it's dark in here. Luckily, I have mastered the high art of sonar orientation. I just have to listen have to you. the sound waves reflecting from the walls, and foom, I can see like a bat. Ooh. Uh, this is a wall, no doubt about it. <laughs> ha! Finally, some light! And then huh? where I started. The darkness must have distorted the sound waves. I don't have any other explanation. The explanation is you're stupid. Can I get the skeleton down? Hey, you. Come down from there. Oops. Oh. Ah, one leg's enough. <laughs> Too high. Um, leg of skeleton. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <clears throat> well, he started it. Um... They're not compact, either in practice. Can I use the signal light on here? Huh. What'll happen if I catch that there? Ah. Uh, too bad. Okay, so that doesn't work at all. Um. Let's head back this way. So he said that all I needed was an avial power converter on the mine bike. Let's give it a try. 
Whoops. Oh, it's always the same with these, uh... I, I hope it's... Oh, my God. Rufus, you just threw it in the junk heap. Where's it? Oh, um, um, and here's another... Damn, what's the... Oh, my. Conical, spherical, and edged corpus. Okay. Um, we're going to stop that he this here, and we're going to get back to that puzzle next episode. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Like, subscribe, comment, you know, what to do. Bye. Fade to black.